Now, let's get into it. Number one, his motivations are not always grand. Like, this might happen, but he's not that villain that, oh, everybody in his clan was killed and now he's out to seek revenge. No, he can seek revenge because someone poured sand in his cereal in high school. Like, and he will grow up and seek revenge on that person. He will seek revenge because, you know, he will rise up in station in life just to spite an ex-lover. Um, he will seek revenge over the death of a lover. Over He will sacrifice everybody just to get her back. Like, he is that villain he is that guy so i think this is number one reason because his motivations are not always it's not like he has this big cause that you know benefits everybody no it's very selfish it's very deep from within him like the things that make him seek revenge so i think this is reason number now reason number two pardon me i'm going to be reading from my note cards here so reason number two most of his methods are not overt they are covert and do you know who else well my reason number one and now this reason number two do you know who else gets written that way in c drama land female villains they are the ones that you know women villains they are the ones that get written that way like you know they're like the manipulative underneath like they don't like overtly show power, overtly show, you know, 